hello everyone so in today's video we're going to be looking at um, proof by induction so generally to prove by induction we have four steps uh, to follow now the first step is called the test case and simply the test case you you, you need to verify true for initial values let's say for values of um, k equal to zero and n equal to zero now the second step is called the inductive hypothesis in this case we are going to assume it is true for n equals to k once the first step is correct and then now step three we show that the inductive hypothesis holds for n equal to k plus one and the fourth step which is just to conclude so if you are new here um actually i created a video um some months ago on proof by induction with a more complicated question and if you're interested in looking at that before we continue with this video i'm going to put a link um, above and also in the, in the description box so um now let's get into the video the first step we have the test case and we have to show that it's true for k equal to zero now we're going to say let our statement want to say p of k be one all over k into k plus one we want to um, show if it's true for the initial case we know that um, here our initial case actually starts at one so putting zero here will not actually be correct so we need to change that and put uh, initial the initial values are one and one so meaning that um, we have to show true for k equal to one so if we substitute one here we're going to have one all over one times one plus one which is two so we see that the left hand side is a half right so we also have to show true for the right hand side and the right hand side is simply what we have for the right hand side so um, let's see if it works so when n is equally one we're going to have one all over one plus one which is two what do we notice we see that a half is equal to a half showing that the the left hand side is equal to the right hand side now once this is true we are very free to go to the next step of the proof to show that okay since the first step is correct we can proceed but if in any case you you try to test for the initial cases and they are not equal then you simply conclude that this proof cannot be demonstrated through um, proof by induction just conclude from there but since here we are simply going to it's true we're simply going to go to the next step so for step two we're going to assume right we're going to assume it is true for n equal to k meaning that we're actually summing now from k equal to one to k of one all over k into k plus one right so this will be equivalent to anywhere we're going to see and we are going to replace it with k meaning that we have k all over k plus one and take note i'm taking this is from uh, this expression this is where i'm getting all of that from so that's all about the second step and the third step simply this is the inductive hypothesis right step two now for the third step we want to demonstrate or show that it's true the inductive hypothesis is true for n equal to k plus one so now you have to take note of um the next thing i'm about to write and uh, um let me just change my ink good so what do we know we're summing from k equal to one to k plus one of one over one all over k into k plus one now to sum um the k plus one term this will simply be the sum of the first k term of uh, 1 all over k into k plus 1 plus the k plus 1 term which is p of k plus 1 now that's the reason why we had to um, give this statement the initial statement that we had here this statement is very important also so again if you are confused at this step in the previous video i explain in details on how this particular uh, how this particular step can be derived so i'm equally going to uh, put a link so that you can go through that 
because in this video i really want it to be short so now we know that this is already uh, something in the step two we saw this in the inductive hypothesis step that this was equivalent to this was equivalent to this right so we're simply going to substitute this here and then we look for this and then we simplify a value meaning that substituting we're going to see that we have <coughs> we have k all over k plus one all over k plus one here now plus now if we know that p of k is simply um, um one all over k into k plus one this means that uh, p of k plus one will be one all over k plus one k plus one plus one so this is also equally very very important let me write it clearly uh, we are going to have k plus one plus one meaning that anywhere i see k i just have to replace it with k plus one so we are going to have k one all over k plus one divided by k plus one plus one good so we are just at the step of simplifying this so we notice that k plus one is appearing very common throughout right so here we are going to look for our lcm and the lcm of these two will simply be k plus one like this then we have this in bracket k plus one plus one so taking this and dividing here we see that k plus one is going to cancel so we, have, we multiply by k we are going to have k into um here we have um let me write this k plus one plus one good so this will be plus one because you know dividing this by that we are going to have one one times one this is actually one okay so one times one will be that so we end up having an expression like this now let's expand this expanding this we're going to have k into k plus one right plus k now plus one we realize that okay there this one we can group it as k plus one and also here k plus one so this will be divided by k plus one and k plus one uh, plus so we realize that k plus one is common so we can factor out k plus one we will left with here we are left with k and here we are left with one which will give us k plus one divided by here we have k plus one now times let me put it this way k plus one plus one but um in the step three we saw that n will be k plus one right so anywhere we see our and we are simply going to replace it with and we will see k plus one we are simply going to replace it with n meaning that here we are going to have n times n divided by here n times n plus one we notice that this n can cancel so we are left with n all over n plus one so like this is the conclusion so like this is the proof already this is a proof you can write as required or cure ed now the conclusion which is step four which is not really very necessary is just to show that since it is true for the test case and the inductive hypothesis I since the three steps are correct or the, since the three steps hold therefore um, the right hand side is equal to the left hand side so that will be all about the proof by induction so um, that's it uh, wish you all the best if you found value in this video please subscribe 